Hello, one and all, and welcome back to the Arcanine Academy. I'm back from my recent trip to Japan, and hopefully you've managed to see those videos I've made of going around the Pokemon centers, and you can get an idea of what some of them are like if you ever plan to go visit. But yeah, today I thought I'd show you a little haul of what I managed to bring back, and all the amazing goods you can get from the Pokemon Center and other places in Japan. But yeah, so we'll just have a quick little skim through, and yeah. I hope you enjoy. I mean, one of the first things we got was an amazing mat uh, for playing the Pokemon TCG game uh, with Eevee and, a pon uh, Eevee and a Poncho Pikachu and Pikachu and a Poncho Eevee. Looking very cute and loads of other little Pokemon in the background. But yeah, I was really happy with that and I thought it was one of the nicer design mats that we got. We got a few other little things such as um, a few uh, deck cases, a uh, fighting type energy case, which is all plasticky and spongy. Not quite sure how long it will last, but it does feel quite nice and soft to hold. This really nice, actually, Gengar deck case. A little magnetic bit as well. And yeah, it's just got quite a nice little design. Uh, Gengar trying to look at Vanillish there. Gengar's going Psyduck. And yeah, stalking a Sylveon. Yeah, quite a nice little design. She feels pretty well made. Yeah, it's quite good. Um, what else did we get? We've got this little puzzle piece. Um, maybe I would show you it's built, but I highly doubt it. It basically makes a 3D little picture frame of all the water starters because I thought it would be better. It, you obviously get the fire and the grass ones as well, but we went for the water ones. Yeah, what else have we got here? It was, well, as it's around Christmas time, they were starting to sell lots of little Christmas things. And we've got these little Christmas baubles. So yeah, Pikachu and Sylveon, like a little school bunny and Gardevoir. I actually remember that brain paper one's called. So the Woody Pichu, the other starters, Glaceon and Sylveon. Yeah, nice little bauble thing, and they all contain those little sweets in them. But yeah, they're quite nice, and as it's come out to Christmas, it might be nice to get some Pokemon decorations. But yeah, there. there. Uh, speaking of Christmas decorations, we've also got... <clears throat> well, me and my other half went a little bit nuts, and you could get the little grab bags of little mystery things, and you could get random design things, and we thought these would be kind of cool to hang on a tree. If nothing else, it's like School Bunny, Pikachu, Sylveon, got quite a few doubles unfortunately, Grookey, Sobble, and Charmander in a reindeer costume, very cute, uh, yeah a few more doubles, and the one my other half was going for most this really cute Glaceon and Leafeon looking at Molo. Molo. Molo? Morello. That's it. Yeah, very cute and yeah, hopefully they look good. And yeah, these little key rings as well, showing all the Christmasy designs with Pikachu in a Santa costume, Charmander in a reindeer suit, and Sylveon all snowy. And yeah, I think you get the Pikachu and the Charmander as a plush, and they look really cool. Um, so yeah. I went a bit nuts as well, and I got some plushies. Uh, obviously, when I saw an Arcanine one, I had to get it. I think the Arcanine plushies look the best, but he's still pretty cute, and yeah, I love him. He's awesome. Uh, and to go with our Arcanine buddy, we've got a little Growlithe. For some reason, he's bigger than the Arcanine, pretty much. So uh, it feels a little bit weird. With Arcanine being a massive Pokemon. And also an Azumarill because I do love me an Azumarill. Very cute. One of my buddies in one of my in uh, my Heron game, my Ruby game I played. So yeah, I got a very close spot for him. Uh, what else did we get? Uh, speaking of well, actually, no, one more thing. I also managed to go to the Pokemon Cafe. I was lucky enough to get a booking, which was quite Odd to do, I think you could only book like two weeks in advance. But yeah, 
that was quite nice and I managed to come away with this Squirtle I think it's a waiter but yeah I do love Squirtle my very first Pokemon so yes having well I felt I had to get a plushie from the Pokemon Cafe and yeah came away with this little guy so very happy with that I'll stick you there uh, speaking of the cafe as well we've got uh, one other thing I got with these little miniature little figurines there's a Pikachu waiting with a, uh, a little coffee there. They don't quite stand up. I feel like they're um, supposed to go on hooks or something, but on hooks or on cups. But yeah, a little Eevee as well, with a little hat. Chef Pikachu. And yeah, a little Mew Mew. Giving a little wink, helping out at the shop. But yeah, no, it's really cool at the cafe. I mean, it's a bit pricey. Uh, food was okay. And yeah, but I don't know if I managed to show this, but um, we also did have like a visit from the chef. Uh, a giant Pikachu chef came out and gave a little dance. So that was pretty nice. It was, it was very weird. It was a very fun experience. But yeah. Uh, what else did we get? We also got, speaking of the mystery pot things, we also got these sleeping evolutions in Pokeballs. They look very cute, and so basically you've got most of the evolutions. We were trying to go for the Eevee and the Umbreon one, but we didn't manage to do that. We've got Glaceon, Espeon, and Espeon. We got a double of oops, the Glaceon as well, but yeah, they were quite expensive, so we didn't want to go get any more. But yeah, that was all fun. Um, what else did we get? We also got. Uh, da, 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 da. Got a load of booster boxes as well. We got this one as well, which has a. I believe it has the trainer cards in them. The trainer with their Pokemon. Which I thought was very cool. Was it? It is 11B. But yeah, look very pretty. Very happy with that. I think I should have got the uh, 12A ones though, because I think they had gold cards as well, but fortunately I couldn't quite remember what was in them and just picked up one at the time. But yeah, well, that's what we have. Also got a Detective Pikachu set as well, because it has some cards in this that weren't available in the English set, such as the detective in it. Is it? Uh, I can't remember his name for the life of me, but yeah, so maybe we'll have to go open that up on the channel, see what else we can get. And yeah, we'll see if we can get some of those Japan exclusive cards. So, very looking forward to that. Uh, and yeah, let me know if you want to see a video on that. And we also got some Pokemon GX Tag Team Special cards. I mean, these cards are great. I guarantee the GX cards in them. I opened up some already. They were really fun. Uh, you got some. It's just amazing to just be able to pull a GX every single time. These are a bit more pricey. But yeah, I believe also in these ones you can also get the god packs so that you can get one pack and I think it's like one out of every two booster cases there will be one box that contains one pack. So very low odds to get a god pack but in that pack you will get nothing but GX cards which is amazing. But yeah, I can get just one of them or just two of them but free. But yeah, we'll see what happens about them. We'll see what we open up on the channel and what we do elsewhere, but very happy with them. Went a little bit nuts, uh, probably shouldn't have got as many, but how many times am I going to go to Japan? Wasn't helping with it, but anyway, I had fun. Uh, and for spending so much in the Pokemon GX store, I got this uh, deck sleeve as well, which is quite cool, which I'll be putting on my mat. Uh, deck sleeve, deck mat sleeve, mat sleeve, you know what I mean. But yeah, I'll be using that if I ever go to any events. That should be really fun. Uh, and yeah, one of the last things I got from Pokemon Center, uh, well, less some of the more niche stuff, such as clothes and stuff, got a Pokemon card game box with, yeah, just to store some of the cards. But yeah, not only that, I went a little bit nuts in some of the other stores around Japan. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Uh, sorry to cut it short here, but I thought it'd be better to cut it into 
two separate parts so yeah that was the majority of the stuff I got from the Pokemon Center from my trip uh, late last November and yeah there will be a, another part coming out a little bit later uh, showing some of the other amazing stuff I got from stores around Japan which I gotta say sometimes are the bits I look forward to more just trying to find these little obscure shops and seeing what amazing good old stuff you can get because they keep it in such good condition and yeah, it's so nice to be able to find stuff, old cards, cheaper than, well, you can over in Europe. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry that uh, the recording is uh, from my time back in November, but I thought it was better to give you the raw experience and the raw happiness and enjoyment I got from it rather than trying to reshoot it. But yeah, I hope to see you in the next video, guys. And until then, keep well, and we shall see you then.